Tonight, August 16th, reported from the NBC News Center in New York. Good evening. Elvis Presley died today. He was 42. Apparently, it was a heart attack. He was found at his home in Memphis, not breathing. His road manager tried to revive him. He failed. A hospital tried to revive him. It failed. His doctor pronounced him dead at 3 o'clock this afternoon. The end, at an early age of one of the two most spectacular careers in the history of American entertainment, the other being Frank Sinatra's. Presley was very nearly at the peak of his career when he was drafted into the Army. That was 1958. Here he's arriving for a tour of duty in Germany, an enlisted man driving a Jeep. He could have gone into what they call special services and avoided the kind of time put in by ordinary soldiers, but Presley didn't. Actually, he trained as a tank man. He sold records in the multiples of millions, made millions, bought a string of Cadillacs, one after another, gave away a string of Cadillacs to people he liked, and along the way he was married in 1967 to Priscilla Ann Bullier. The very symbol of sex for all of the millions or hundreds of thousands of teenagers was married only once, and then relatively late. The couple had one child, a daughter. The marriage did not last very long. It ended in divorce. He was a part of American popular history. In the 1950s, the great swing era of Benny Goodman, Artie Shaw, and Tommy Dorsey was about dead. Big band pop music had turned into what was called bop or bebop. Remote, obscure, bloodless, nobody liked it, nobody could dance to it. And then here came Elvis with a hot, stomping, steaming, sexy kind of music that turned on young people as pop music never had before. Others came along, including the Beatles, but they were all indebted to him, and most of them said so. He died today. Even though he didn't drink, smoke, or drive his own car, he quit breathing at the age of 42. NBC will have a special on Elvis tonight at 11.30 Eastern Time.